So, Tom, what did you think of all the comments? I can't tell you how inspired I am. I mean, I have worked for nearly 50 years on these ideas. And I've just gotten used to the idea that there's nobody interested in my ideas. And so I don't really, you know, promote myself or, you know, I just do the work. And at some point in time, people will notice. People noticed. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, everyone. You just made my day. And I'm publishing the website next week. I, you know, I, I've been holding off because, you know, there's all sorts of calculation mistakes, I'm sure. And please tell me anything that doesn't calculate right and I'll fix it. And, you know, there's part of it that's still not finished. But I'll just, there's enough material there that uh, we can all start working together. Becky, how did you think, what did you think of it, the it entire ex experience? It was extremely exciting mm -hmm. uh, for someone who just started off with reading uh, synergetics just started but having a math background not heavy on geometry but this has really sucks me back in i am so excited with everything and so from from a, a beginner rediscovering as like a child with with everything this is this is the playground so thank you for inviting me to be part of this this is a fantastic experience she is a math person okay so for her this speaks in a completely different language. It, it's like her language. <laughs> so it is. And you know, I only use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But that's the beauty of everything because here it's so physical and it's, it's as Bucky said, you're playing, you're actually using your senses. I think oftentimes uh, when it comes to mathematics, we're so quick to jump to the nth dimension and abstract everything and we lose the the sensory part of everything and this is the real world what you've designed with with um with that it, it's that's real uh this is having an impact on architectures and um and designers and and the world so thank and, you uh, I, I want to say because i also did not get a chance so this will be like a addendum to to the the meetup because this is like a more informal one uh, i did not get a chance to talk about this as well, but uh, Tom, it has been an amazing, amazing experience. Amazing two days, because I started looking at your website last evening, spend hours going through it. And it is like, uh, how to put it? See, for you, these are all fluid because you have been working with them. You know, you can kind of see all the steps. You, you can all see all the shapes. You see what is missing. You see how patterns kind of morph into one another. I'm just at the beginning stages of this. So I can clearly see the possibilities of how it can be done. But it's like, oh, it did this? Wow, look at that. And like, for example, when you were unraveling, you know, this shape, and then out of it came the next shape, and out of it came the next shape. And all the pieces that were taken away in order to make the next step had a meaning to it, had a shape which fits in the entire scheme of things. So it is telling you something really fundamental about nature of reality itself, nature of nature itself. You, you so get it. I, I, this is just like amazing to hear you say these words. I just, I'm just speechless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the, the thing is that you, the, the beautiful thing is that you are actually doing this with your hands, with your eyes and hands. You I am as old school as they come. Yes, yes. That's what I love, right? It is, it is, and for me, I am seeing like the profound idea behind something. Like, you know, Bucky's idea of, of the whole. Like, otherwise you can just put it as a statement. Always start with the whole. Arts have no meaning without the whole. But here, 
when you see the whole and you can see its parts and at each stage it becomes a different whole and even the part has a certain nature to it which fits in and it, it by you look at it and say it's a whole know, into itself yeah it's whole in itself and this is where it fits in in order to make a larger whole um so the idea that you're talking about the you me idea that is that actually is being seen in these shapes like take this apartment or take you know these um shells that you're talking about everything inside of it with the mastery with the fluency once you have the fluency this is think of i'm thinking of this as a language okay once these are your words okay once these are your words you can write poems inside buildings and people will feel it then you don't have to even speak because the shapes will speak for themselves they will not only be efficient but they will have an aesthetic that effectiveness of the shapes will be felt by people as beauty as peace as yes i'm i'm in nature wait a minute did i leave the leave the forest and come in here <laughs> wait a minute i'm still it's it's kind of like the same kind of thing so there is this kinship between what we make what we human beings make and nature because we are part of nature exactly and so should our works be of nature and this is the vocabulary for doing that well you know one of my dreams is to the graham foundation sets up grants to do shows and for Fabiano and I to do just what you were talking about, to do maybe build one of these on some smaller scale in some gallery and then have the walls just full of the information. And, you know, it's another way to get it out. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. So thank you so much. You know, you have opened my eyes to something really, really beautiful. Well, and I will so remember this forever. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. I think this deserves a yes. hug. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And Becky, you are just amazing. Thank you so much for all your work. All right. Thank you, folks. Let me go ahead and do this.